Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to week two of storytelling. As one of your options on the art menu for this week, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own accordion book. As you can see from the pictures, an accordion book looks a lot like an accordion. I absolutely love creating accordion books because they are so simple to make and I can do just about anything inside of them. I can draw, I can paint, I can even make collages on the pages of my accordion book. An accordion book can stand up on its own or you can even flip the pages like you would any normal book. All you need to create an accordion book are some pieces of paper, any drawing supplies or collage supplies that you have, and of course, some imagination. Accordion books are also sometimes called never-ending books. And that is because in theory, you could make your accordion book go on forever and ever if you would like it to. For my accordion book today, I'm going to use two pieces of paper. The first step is folding both of your pieces of paper in half hot dog style. Next, I'm going to cut on both of my folded lines. Now I have four strips of paper. Next, I'm going to take each of these strips and fold them in half. Lastly, I'm going to fold my folded strips of paper in half one more time. Now you can unfold all of your strips and what you're going to do, you're going to make sure that the folds are going opposite ways. So this one is on top, so this one's on the bottom. So the next one needs to also go on the top. We're making zigzags right now, or an M. Now I have four M shapes and I'm ready to glue them all together. I find it easiest to line everything up when it's standing up so that I can figure out what I need to alternate. So basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be lining up the folds so that it continues to be a zigzag. So since this one is going down, I need to make sure that this one completes what would be the fold. And then the last step is to just glue it all together. So I'm gluing around the perimeter. And 
and then I'll stick my next accordion on top. So now my accordion book is finished and I just need to add some finishing touches so it looks more like a book. The last step that I'm going to take before I illustrate the inside of my accordion book is add two covers to the outside. If you don't have another piece of paper, you can always illustrate the covers now using some pencils, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have available. I have some different color paper on hand so I'm going to use that to quickly create two covers. And now I have a completed accordion book with a front and a back cover, and now I'm ready to illustrate the inside. I'm going to illustrate the inside of my accordion book off camera, and then I'll come back to show you the final result. So here is my finished accordion book. I went ahead and illustrated all the pages. The nice thing about accordion books, like I said before, is that you can flip it like a regular book, or you can open it up and let it be shown almost like a timeline. So I can't wait to see what you choose to create for your accordion book stories this week um, and see you soon.